Hey you guys, so I wanted to make an updated video regarding the My Macros Plus app. This is an app that I use personally and I have all of our clients use and I did make a video about a year or two ago now but I decided to update it because I wanted to make it a little bit easier to understand to make sure that you guys fully understand how to use it and you're using it to the best of your ability. So I like My Macros Plus a lot better than My Fitness Pal for a couple of reasons. The first one being that you can input your exact macros without paying a monthly fee. My Fitness Pal allows you to put in your exact macros if you pay, I think it's like $10 a month or something, to do so. My Macros Plus does cost a small fee when you initially purchase the app, but after that everything is free. You can input your exact macros, you can change them as many times as you want, and you can even change back and forth for different days. So if you are somebody who carb cycles or your macros change for whatever reason, it's really easy to go in and do that. Another reason why I like My Macros Plus is because the layout is a lot more organized and a lot more macro friendly, I guess you could say. It not only shows you your total macros for the day at the very bottom, but it also can show you your macros per meal, it can show you your fiber goals, it can show you sodium, whatever you want to set it as, it can show you right on that main front page. So that's something that I really like about it. And then last but not least, I do like how it saves your most recently used foods. So if you're somebody like me who likes to eat a lot of the same things throughout the week, it's easy to input each time after you do it the first time. So I'm going to start off by showing you guys how to set up your My Macros profile, how to put your macros in the app, and then I'm going to show you how I personally go about using it and what other features that it has. So let's go. Okay you guys, so the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is to input your custom macros. So Hopefully you know what they are um, and you're going to go to the top here, you're going to click app settings and then you're going to go to set nutritional goals. From there you can see these are all the macros I've had in the past, it saves them every time unless you delete them. So you're going to click add new macro goal and then you can name it whatever you want. So if you're bulking, if you're cutting or you could just put the date. So just to show you, I'll just put today's date which is September. 27th and then you just input your macros for protein carbs and fat so I'll just put some random numbers just to show you so we'll do 250 and 60 so once you input everything click save it'll ask you if you want to apply it to your profile you just click yes and then you click done you could close that and then you'll see that the new macros were added to your profile and they'll be listed up on the top and then it'll also automatically calculate your calories for you which is shown right below that so that's how you input your macros if you are carb cycling you can input multiple goals as you guys saw it does save it and then you can just switch every day that you need to switch to do that the next thing I'm going to show you is how to edit your meal names. So you're going to go back to the settings, you're going to click edit meal names and if you just got the app you'll probably see like meal 1, meal 2, meal 3, meal 4, and meal 5 and what I did was I just added a bunch of new meals. So I put like breakfast, lunch, dinner, pre and post workout, snacks, before bed, intro workout. You could honestly name them whatever you want to name them but you just click the little plus enter whatever you want to enter and it'll save it and then you can delete them if you want but they're always going to be there for you to choose from so that's how you do that and then finally I'm going to show you guys how to input your food and there's basically three ways that I use to input my food so I'm going to swipe over and you'll see this big list here so the most accurate way I think to track your food is going to be the barcode scanner so you're just gonna click the barcode scanner I have a box of pasta to show you guys here the camera will come up find your barcode and then it'll just scan it in so it'll automatically come up with a serving size whether it's what's shown on the box or not you might have to do a little bit of math but this shows what's in one cup of the pasta and then you can choose what meal you want to add it to and then you just click the check mark at the top 
make sure everything looks good and it's in your day. So that's one way to do it. Another way you can input your food is to add in your own custom food and you do that by clicking this little plus at the top and then this list will come up and it's all blank so um, I usually do this if the barcode scanner isn't working for whatever reason or if I just want to quickly input it I'll just name it quick or maybe the food you have doesn't have a barcode scanner but it does show you the macros you can just quickly do it this way sometimes I'll use this if I use the search option and I can't find what I'm looking for and I don't have a barcode I'll do a quick Google search for an accurate calorie count and macro count of the food so like earlier today I googled a plum because it wasn't coming up or the bright numbers weren't coming up when I searched it on the app so I just will put the plum here it was for 100 grams and there was no fat it was 12 carbs I think and then there was no protein so you just put as long as you have those three things it'll automatically calculate the calories for you so you don't really need to know that and then the rest of this stuff you don't really need to know per se if you have this information you can put it in and then I just click save it'll ask you if you want to add it click yes and then whatever meal you want to add it to and then if you had more than one serving you can change that up here We'll just keep it at one for now and then you just click the check mark and it's there so that's the second way and then the third way is like I said you can just search for the food so the only time I really use the search option is when I'm looking for a, like a very basic common food so let's just search for an apple you can see a lot of choices come up you want to try to find one that you think is the most accurate or looks like the most common so usually I try to find something that shows the grams in a serving size because that's more accurate and I can weigh out what I have. So let's just say 100 grams of an apple. That looks pretty good. And then obviously pick your meal again and then it's there. So those are kind of the three methods that I use to track my foods. But you can do it any way that you prefer as long as you think it's accurate and as long as it's easy for you. As we input some food, you'll see the numbers up top here changed in that the numbers up top are going to show you what you have left for the day. As you continue to add things, it will turn more of like a green and it'll get pretty exact. So you want to be in the green to have a successful day. I think that's when like within like 10 grams of each macro. And then on the very bottom, you'll see it'll show you where you're currently at with macros and then what your goals are again at the bottom, which I really like. And then if you click this little I in the bottom right corner, it will show you your everything pretty much. It'll show you your total calories, your macros, um, It'll show you your fiber and sugar, which is important, your sodium intake, and then it'll kind of break it down into little charts. And at the very bottom, you'll see it'll show you your water. And another great feature of this app is I like how you can track your water intake. So like today, for instance, I just put in, you can track it in ounces or just put your own, whatever's easier for you, and then it'll save it and keep track. I know I personally am not good at keeping track unless I write it down in the app. And then I also really like how it tracks your body weight. So I have my body weights input here up from almost a year ago. And something I re also really like is how it puts it in a little graph for you so you can see your progress and you can see that progress really is not linear all the time with fat loss or with weight gain, muscle gain. And I think it's just a nice little tool to see your progress over however long you've been tracking your body weight. And then the final feature I'm going to show you guys is to how to add friends. You go to my circle and you will see the list of your current friends if you have any. You can also go to this middle button here. You can search for someone. So I don't know if I can search for myself, but my username is Fit Girl Moves. if you want to search for me and add me. Yeah, I won't show me myself, but um, this will show you all of your friends. You can see their profiles. So we'll just go to Jason's profile. He is the creator of this app. And it'll show you like what they ate for that day. You can go to whatever day you want to go to. You know, you can see what your friends are eating, get ideas of different meals. And yeah, so 
that's a little summary of how to use this app. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully that was helpful to you if you are new to counting macros or just new to using My Macros Plus. Like I said, I do really like this app a lot more than my fitness pal and it might take a little bit of getting used to, but once you're used to it, it is a lot more convenient and once you have all of your common foods input, it's so easy to use. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or Jason. I will link both of our emails in the description box. He's always very responsive to anybody who purchases the app and I can also help as much as possible. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, reach out and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!